The inmates were even forced to appear in a notorious Nazi propaganda film in 1944, which attempted to portray Terezin as a place where Jews lived a happy, content existence, rich in culture and sport. It was all a sham, of course. Within months, most of these people, including the footballers themselves, even the director who was brought in and forced by the SS to make this film, were dead, shipped off to Auschwitz and murdered in the gas chambers. But many died here at Terezin itself of malnutrition and disease. Odešla armáda, odešel největší zaměstnavatel a město ztratilo 75% obyvatelstva v podstatě před pár lety. Poklesem obyvatelstva došlo k pokysu příjmu těch, toho města. Takže město o velikosti vesnice s odpovídajícím rozpočtem tak se momentálně stará o obrovský majetky v řádech miliard, včetně toho len z toho objektu a logicky nemá na tu údržbu. It's very frustrating for me. This is the, these walls, these buildings. This is the evidence. Without evidence, there is no Holocaust.